the revs. I love to match the revs. guys it's Blake with Y2K hope you're having an absolutely incredible day it's another beautiful day here in Florida albeit a little bit chilly 67 degrees but I'm not complaining feels like California we're here today in the 2011 E92 M3 that I bought back in 2013. It was the first car I bought that I really, really wanted on my own. It was a really big deal at that time. And today we're gonna talk about the top five things I love about this car. There's a lot more than that, but we're gonna talk about the absolute top five things that I feel are just the best aspects of this M3. Number one has to be the engine. It's a four liter V8. Yes, a V8 and an M3. It's incredible. <laughs> and it makes 414 horsepower and 292 foot-pounds of torque which back in 2008 was a lot of power this thing was as fast as a Porsche 911 for half the price you know it was on par with the C63 all those were a little bit faster and the RS4 it was faster then if I recall but they were all pretty neck and neck but this is when all three of those cars RS4 C63 and the M3 had V8s an incredible time to be alive I was in college I'll never forget I saw an Interlagos blue M3 going down the road and these guys were having the time of their life and they looked just a little bit older than me and I had some envy and I said one day I'm gonna have an M3 and I really wanted it because of this motor it revs to 8,250 rpms 8,250 rpms and the world turbochargers and stuff like that that just doesn't really happen anymore unless you spend a ton of money so I really just love this engine it sounds incredible I've got an Acropova exhaust to really take it up to the next level <laughs> It's full titanium, weighs like 10 pounds. It's really, really awesome. So the engine in this car, I just love it. It's got eight individual throttle bodies. It's actually the same engine as the V10 M5 minus two cylinders. I've been told they actually chopped the cylinder in half and put it back together. And that's why this thing revs like it does. It's like just incredible the way the response is. <laughs> It feels like you're getting like an F1 car engine for like not even near the money. You know, I paid 45,000 for this car back in 13 with 40,000 miles on it, and now it's probably worth 30. So they really haven't dropped too much. And I just think the engine is the focal point of this car. It is true M and it's the last of the true M naturally aspirated engines. Hey guys, just real quick, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that like button and subscribe and turn your notification alerts to all that would really help our channel our views are up big time and our subscribers are growing every day we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers that is a huge goal of mine we're doing two videos a week now so if you could do that i would really really appreciate it all right number two guys gotta be the manual come on oh i love this it's a six-speed manual they offered a dct but who really cared about that you got to have the manual to be y2k approved and it is a true joy to drive this car in a manual because you know what that v8 with how fast it revs if you're someone like me who likes to rev match heel toe all that kind of stuff blip the throttle <laughs> It's perfect for that. It really just heightens the experience greater than any DCT could ever do. I've actually driven a DCT and while it really is an awesome transmission, I have to say I prefer the manual. The throws are a little longer than you would want and it's kind of like a rubbery feel, but I did some solid diff bushings which actually seemed to help the shifter feel. It feels a little more precise, a little more kind of tough to get it in gear, but it feels better like a better throw more quality i like the way it feels so while it might not be the best manual transmission in the world like an s2000 or something like that i definitely would still do it time and time again because you just can't beat the feeling of driving a stick especially in a bmw m3 if you're ever going to get a manual you would get it in an m3 i mean it's just 
the perfect recipe, rear wheel drive manual V8. Doesn't get any better than that. Number three, guys, has to be the looks. When I was in college and saw this car come out, you know, I was a starving college student with zero money. The looks of this thing just got me. The power dome on the hood, the wide body fender flares, just everything about it was so aggressive. The front bumper just looks mean. I mean, everything about it was just perfect to me. It sets itself out so much differently than a standard 3 Series, like a 328 or a 335, which are great cars but it just makes it so unique. You can fit a wider tire underneath these huge fender flares. I did a carbon duckbill rear spoiler from Voiceturner. I paint matched it to the car and then I left the actual ducktail itself exposed carbon and it came out amazing. So the looks on this car just absolutely stand out to me. Such a unique looking and amazing looking M3. Out of all the M3s that are in the 2000s era, I prefer this one the most. E46 is good but I really love the 92, F80, M3, and the M4 are, they're okay. I like the sedan a lot better. Um, the coupe is too long and doesn't look wide enough to me. Number four on this car, the top five things I love is my ESS 650 supercharger. It makes 650 horsepower to the crank, according to ESS. I dynoed it, it made 530 to the wheels, so still really strong numbers. It is way faster than a stock M3. Extremely, extremely fast. This is faster than like a stock Gallardo or an F430 or something like that. It's door to door with like a 458 or a Huracan. So it really is in supercar levels of performance. And it took this car from a car I enjoyed and made it to a car I absolutely love. You know, when you combine all the great aspects of the M3 from the handling, the transmission, and the motor, and then add that supercharger on top, it's just like the perfect little icing to the top of that M3 cake. I just can't say enough good things about ESS and what they've done with the product. It's a Vortec blower, centrifugal, and they do their own intake manifold and piece a whole nice kit together. The kit itself is about, I think, 10 grand, and I think it's worth every penny. You get them used for probably five or 6,000 now, so really not that much money anymore to add that kind of capability and performance to the car. I've had no issues with it at all, except for I had an alternator pulley that was rubbing a little bit, but they sent me a new one under warranty. And it was time for the water pump to be done at that point anyways, so it really has been reliable. And the tune is great out of the box. It has a couple partial throttle issues, but not anything huge. You can easily tune those out if you wanted, but it doesn't bother me enough to even attempt to do it. Because they just did such a great job. It just mimics the factory power band. The car doesn't have a lot of torque and it still doesn't, but what it does do is put tons of power up top where the car made power before, but now it's almost like a two-stroke motorcycle where it just really winds up past 6,000 RPMs and it keeps making power all the way to redline. If you could rev it to 10 grand, it would just make even more power. You just can't run out of revs. I just love the feel of the boost just building and building and building. It really is an awesome experience with a supercharger on it. So if you have an E92 M3, I highly suggest doing the ESS supercharger. They start, I believe, at a 550, go up to a 650, might even go down to 500. I have an intercooled one, there's not intercooled, etc, etc, but they're great, great kits. Number five, and this might not be something you're thinking about, but it could be if you're a real, like, motorsport M guy. This is the last M3 to be ever made with a hydraulic steering rack. And what that means is when I turn this wheel, I am connected to the road mechanically. Now the new M3s and M4s forever now will be electric steering racks. And while those racks have gotten really good, they will never be able to duplicate the feeling of a hydraulic rack. So when you're doing a track day or you're just driving normally through some twisty roads spiritedly and you just want to know kind of where the car is through your hands and what the road 
surface is like. Does it have rocks? Is it sandy? Is it dry? Is it wet? You know, all that can be told through a hydraulic rack. And through an electric rack, they can simulate and they can tell the computer how those situations feel, but it's still a computer. It's not a direct connection to the car. So the hydraulic rack is a big deal to me. Um, McLaren, I think, is like one of the last few manufacturers to do hydraulic racks. So I salute you, McLaren, but I don't salute your depreciation value and all your mechanical issues. I can't salute that. <laughs> it's something that will never be done ever again on the motorsport division of BMW and it had to make my top five list of the things I absolutely love about this E92 M3. A quick note about E92 M3s, they are an absolute bargain right now. Low 20s, I mean, you might be able to get one in the high teens if you find one that's got tons of miles on it, but you know, definitely low 20s and they've bottomed out on price and they're coming back up. So if you've ever wanted to get an E92 M3, now is the time to get one. They're gonna be remembered as the only M3 with a V8 and all the last of everything. Like I said, the hydraulic rack, etc. It's an analog car. Doesn't have a lot of features and gimmicks on it. This is a true driver's car. So if you're in the market, go get one. I highly recommend it. You will probably never sell it and I'm definitely never gonna sell mine. I just love it that much. Well guys, I hope you had an awesome time today talking about the top five things I love about this 2011 M3. Had it since 2013, it's 2020 now, so seven years. No plans on selling it. It really is an awesome car. I hope to keep it forever. If you're new to the channel, please do yourself a favor and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, set the alerts to all. Also give us a big like, thumbs up. That really helps YouTube share our content with everyone and they push it out with their algorithm when you hit the thumbs up button. So if you could do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Hope you had fun, and we'll see you guys on the next one. You know what I like to do? Hammer time. Oh, yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Do you want to remember the Meow Mix commercials? Very much Y2K approved.